Right, I'm just going to do a very quick audio test for me before it starts. Hello if you are watching this live. Okay, second audio test come in with a different microphone. Much better. All right, let's go live. And good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me in the chat today. Uh, my name is Paul Grogan, and today is the first of a series of live streams that I'm doing as part of Virtually Expo. Virtually Expo is the virtual replacement for UK Games Expo, UK's biggest gaming convention. Uh, and it's happening virtually because of the current global crisis. And it doesn't actually open until six o'clock today. Doors open at six o'clock. But what I'm doing is I have set up a game outside the main doors, basically in the corridor, and I've got a couple of friends to do to do a game of it. So this is Under Falling Skies. I have done a number of streams of this game uh, over the last few months on my channel. Um, so hello if you are watching this and you've seen other streams. Um, but if you're brand new to this, uh, don't worry because I'm going to be giving a full explanation of the game uh, so that you can see how it plays. This is a prototype copy of the game. This game is not out yet. Uh, it's a fairly advanced prototype. The artwork is almost finished. The components are not quite finished yet. Um, the game is going to be coming out uh, in a few months' time, I think, sometime around October time later this year. Uh, right, okay, so let's find the people who are going to be joining me today. And it is Tom and Russ. Say hello. 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 There you go. <laughs> <laughs> How was your trip to UK Games Expo? Got it made good time this year. <laughs> didn't get stuck in any traffic then. <laughs> no, the train. I didn't even have to worry about any delays or anything. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, for all of the downsides of you know virtual conventions, the upsides are we don't actually have to go anywhere, <laughs> which is great. Yeah, and and uh, you save a lot of money on um, snacks and stuff. Snacks, hotels, traveling, <laughs> suitcases getting lost in airports. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I mean, you, you, you two joined me last night for a game of Bonfire, and here we are today for a very different game. Uh, this is a solo game, so why have I got two people involved? So technically, this is a solo game, but I'm trying to convince CGE that they should advertise this uh, as a multiplayer solo game, because I personally believe that the game works best with two people working together to try and save the Earth from invading aliens. Uh, and that's what you two are going to be doing today. So we have an alien mothership which has just arrived, it's up here. This alien mothership is going to be moving down the board here. It moves down one space at the end of each round. And when it arrives at this space here with the red skull, you lose the game immediately. So you've got to try and do research in order to develop a super weapon to be able to defeat the aliens. And that is represented by this blue marker here. Not going to be a blue marker in the final game. Uh, you're going to be moving it up this track all the way to the top. If you get to the top, you win. And that is the only way that you can win. Now, the first thing we need to decide is which location are you going to try and defend today? The final game is going to come with over 20 different uh, cities for you to defend. I have an option for you today for, of three. We have Roswell, we have New York and we have Washington. Now, the, the difficulty level of these three is about the same, but Roswell is easier to learn because you don't use the rules for the robots. So it's completely up to you two. We can play on Roswell for a simpler game. Or if you want to see the full rules, which includes the robot rules, you can have New York or Washington. Which one would you like? What do you think, Tom? I, th I think we can do some robots. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so too. It's like, do we want to recreate Independence Day or do we want to recreate <laughs> um, like Avengers? <laughs> oh, definitely Independence Day. Okay, okay, so Washington then. That's right. <laughs> right, okay, right. So we need the blue dice as well. 
Okay, so here's, here's how the game is going to work. The game is played over a series of rounds, and I mentioned at the end of each round, this mothership moves down, so you are on a hard timer. Um, you lose the game if the mothership reaches here. You also lose the game if your base... Oh, we need to set the base up. Hang on. Washington is B and C. Uh, so that's B and that's C. It's a different base depending on which you're using. Uh, so that goes there, that goes there, and that goes there. Right, okay, I think we're good. Let's use that one so you can see it. Uh, and that goes there. Right, so your base is also able to take a certain amount of damage. That's this track down here. Every time your base takes damage, we're going to move this marker down. And if this marker arrives at the skull, you also lose the game. So there are two ways that you can lose the game and only one way that you can win. So yeah, games played in a series of rounds. Uh, the first phase of each round is that we roll the dice. Now, there are three black dice and two white dice. Again, prototype components might be different. I'm going to roll these. And I'm going to put them out. Okay, now, what you need to do is you need to allocate those dice to rooms within your base. This is your base. Uh, and there's various rules of placement, which are as follows. Now, we've, this is divided into five columns. And for, for the purpose of this video, and when you're giving me instructions, if you can call them columns one to five, from mm -hmm. left to right, and rows one to five down, or, or level one, level two, level three, whichever, okay? So let's say you wanted to put this dice, you would say, Paul, can we put it on uh, column two of, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, column two of level two, and I would put it there, yeah? Or you could say the yellow room on level two, something like that. Mm-hmm. You've got five dice, there are five columns, there must be one dice in each column at the end of the placement. So you can't have more than one dice in a column and you must place all of your dice. Now, the only rooms currently available to you are all of these up to the excavator. So the excavator shows how much of your base you've actually excavated and you currently cannot use any of these rooms here. Okay, so these are, these are currently off limits, you can't use these. So you can only place the dice in these here, and I'll go through what these mean in a minute. But to excavate, once per turn, you may place one of your dice ahead of the excavator. So let's say you decided to excavate with this five, you could put it up to five spaces ahead. So you could put it there, 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 or there. One, two, three, four, five. So you do count these blank spaces as actual spaces. Okay, so even though it's a five, you can put it five spaces away, but you don't have to, you could put it four spaces away. Now, you're not actually using that room. So the dice that is placed ahead of the excavator, what you're doing is you're saying, we are going to excavate to this point. It doesn't happen immediately. All of the dice are going to be placed first, and then you will resolve the dice one at a time in the order of your choice. Um, but yeah, so once per turn, you can excavate. Excavating is going to cost you one power. You start the game with Washington with three power, and you can have a maximum of nine. So excavating always costs one, no matter how far you excavate. Okay, what do the other rooms do? Well, for the purposes of this demo, I'm not going to explain the green and the blue rooms yet because you haven't actually got access to them. I'm just going to explain the yellow and the red rooms. The yellow room is how you generate power. And this is really simple. The dice that you put on there is how much power you're going to get. The value of the dice is how much power you're going to get. But, and I don't know if you can see this of Discord, but there is a minus one here. Mm -hmm. That minus one means when you come to resolve the dice, it's actually treated as if it was one fewer than it is. So that's treated as a four. But it is still a five when you put it on there, which is very important, but it is a four when you come to resolve it. Okay, before I explain the red rooms, I'm going to explain how these alien spaceships move towards you. And that is, every time you place a dice in a column, all of the alien spaceships in that column move that many spaces towards you. So big values are great. However, big values mean these ships move closer towards you. So this is a five. This one will move one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And if there is an icon on a space where it lands, like there was here, then in this case, it shifts one space over. There is other icons on there, which I'll explain later on. If a ship ever reaches here and then moves any further, that triggers your base taking one point of damage and the ship respawns at the end of the round. There is an infinite supply of these red ships so you will need to shoot them down in order because otherwise they're just going to move down and blow your base up but when you do shoot them down they're just going to respawn at the end of the round so how do you shoot them down that is what these red rooms are for and washington 
uh, actually has three red rooms available from the start of the game. You have three different ways that you can do it. This, these rooms allow you to scramble fighter jets, basically. So this room will cost you two power. Now, it's really important to know that that two power is only spent when you activate the room, not when you place the dice. So it is perfectly legal to go, we're going to put a five on there, Paul, and it moves down five, and then you actually can choose not to use it and the dice would just get removed and put back in here. But if you choose to use it, it costs two power. And what happens is you look at these explosion spaces here and any alien spacecraft, which is on an explosion space with a number of this or lower is immediately destroyed and goes back to the top. So it blows all of them up, not just in that column. So obviously you wanna go in there with a high number in order to try and get as many as you can, but it's only if they are on the explosion spaces. So that room there is two power and it's the value of the dice. This room here costs no power, but the dice is treated as if it was two less than it is. And this one here costs one power and the dice is treated as one fewer. So you've got three options to scramble fighter jets. The final rule to explain with regards to the rooms is these gray rooms at the top. Now these are special rooms because they don't actually have any ability whatsoever. They don't generate your power, they don't do anything. But when you place a dice in one of them, it reduces the amount that the ships move by one. So you put a five there, it only moves four. OK, but other than that, the dice doesn't actually do anything at all. Right now, other rules about the dice. Why do we have two different colours? This is where a lot of the tactical decisions will come in the game. Because every time you place a white dice into your base, you must re-roll all of your remaining dice. So for example, if right now you really needed a six, you didn't roll a six, you might think, okay, well, let's let's put the white three out first and let's put it on here. Now you get to re-roll all of the other ones and that is mandatory, you don't get a choice. Whereas if you really wanted this four and this three, you'd want to place them first and then you'd want to place the white dice. So when you place the white dice is very important and you can use that to your advantage. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to explain the blue rooms. I'm not going to explain the green rooms. I haven't explained this year either, but that's fine. Uh, what I will tell you, though, is these mothership spaces here, okay? If you were to put a three on here, this would move down one, two, three. If one of these alien spaceships lands on a mothership symbol, the mothership moves down one space immediately. Now, generally speaking, that's a bad thing because you're bringing it closer to, you know, you. There are certain situations where it can be a good thing, but I would suggest for the first round of the game, you don't do that. Um, and I'll explain what happens next round. OK, so do you have enough to get started? And we'll explain the rest as we go along. Yeah. OK, except for Washington. So. Washington has a special ability. OK. So before rolling the, sorry, after rolling the dice, so we've done that. And I, am I using the right side of Washington? Actually, I don't think I am. Nope, I'm not. I'm using the wrong side of Washington. So the campaign game that's going to come with this game sees you defending the cities and you actually get two chances. You're defending Washington and if you don't succeed, you flip it over and you get another chance. Okay. And I was on the wrong side. So this is the side. So before rolling the five worker dice, we set one of the white dice to a six instead of rolling it. That is the special ability for Washington. There we go. Right, so you have two ones, a two and a three, and then the white six. And it is now over to you two to decide where you want to place these dice. Uh, hello to people in the chat. Thank you for joining in. Hi, everyone. Oh, the other thing I was going to mention, and I knew I'd forget something, we're playing on the default difficulty level. Do you want to increase it? No. Okay, I knew you'd say that. <laughs> so I'll tell you now, difficulty level one for you two, knowing you as I do, you should win this. If you don't, I'll be very disappointed, okay? <laughs> so it's, it will still feel like a challenge, but you should beat it on level one if you are a fairly experienced gamer. You can customize it by increasing the difficulty level four times. So I call this difficulty level one. We can increase it to two, three, four, and then five, and it really ramps up. So I currently can't beat it on difficulty level three. But the more you play the game, the more experience you'll get with it. So if you're happy playing on the default difficulty level,
then we will go with that one. Just be aware you can customise the difficulty of the game. Right then. Are the room boards the same for both sides of the city tile? Yes, Scott. Yeah, so whether you're playing Washington that side up or that side up, it is the same base configuration. Oh, and we're missing that. Right, so where you, which dice do you want to place first? This is where you can chat amongst yourselves about what your plan of action is. So, so we can't really put the three in the first column there because it will it will do the mothership. Unless you put it on the top room, in which case oh, it, would to only, it. it would only move two. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, quick tactical tip: excavate early. I'll give you that for nothing. What was that tip again? <laughs> excavate as early as you can you need to do excavation in the game mm -hmm. what's the um what's the rule about the dice when you put a dice in which dice is it you re-roll the rest the white so every white. time you place a white dice you must re-roll all of your other ones hmm interesting yeah. and uh what happens if a oh all the ships what if a ship goes into another ship it can't yeah, it can't. It can't. So it'll just stay where it is. It'll stay where it is. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's it's tempting just to use like the ones to stop them moving very far, but I suppose you want them to move a bit because you want them to be on the explosion spaces. We'll be thinking about um, using that six to excavate, maybe. Yeah. I was just thinking of whether we, we want to use the ones first. Yeah. So um, the six the, could excavate all the way to there one if you wanted on level to. Four. But yeah, you're right. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. But before you do that, you're thinking of using the ones. Yeah. yeah we re-roll everything, mm. don't we? Yeah. Well, it's not we, a bad thing could... because one of the other things that's catching some people out is they move the ships and they put them on the explosion spaces and then they don't blow them up this turn and then next turn they think, Oh, wait a minute, we've got to move them again. Yeah, you're going to move them so, off the spaces. Yeah. I was I was thinking we could put um, a one on the top. A one can never go below a one, I'm assuming. So Correct, yeah. Yeah, so if we if we put um, a ones on level one, four, and five, then it would essentially um, keep them in the same columns they were in because they'd block them, they'd block each other. Does that make sense? I mean, if you put them on the top row, the ships won't move at all. Oh, okay. So yes, you can you can reduce their movement down to a zero. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Um, yeah, so we can stop them moving and then do the excavation and then see what we get. Yeah, and then, yeah. yeah. You happy with that? Okay. So are um, you going to excavate as far as you can, which would be there? We have to be. Um, we have to be kind of deciding what we want to put our next dice in because we won't be able to move those black ones. Um, after we roll the other that's true after. yep so do we want to like think ahead do we want to potentially keep that uh one underneath the the the, the level two um column four space or do we think we're fine because we've got like it doesn't matter anyway because we're not going to be able to blow them up i don't think this turn are we don't think don't, so no i don't think we're going to get anything no. to the explosion spaces so should we just re-roll them yeah Let's okay. use the six for excavation. Though. So you're excavating as far as you can, and then yep. you re-roll re -roll these two. There we go. You've got a one and a three. So so how, how do we use the energy room again? Uh, if you were to put the three in there, the ship would move three spaces down, and then when you come to resolve it, because there's a minus one, you simply get two energy. Okay. So, ah, uh, yeah, if we, if we use a three, though, because they move along the arrow... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That would that would send him onto the mothership space, wouldn't it? Um, would it? No. no, three would Wouldn't be one, two, three. Oh, do they? Oh, so it's only if they end up it's, on it. Yeah, it's only if they land. Okay. On it. Yeah. So that might be an idea. Then we could get a couple of energy. Yeah, I mean, we should be trying to get some because mm -hmm. we're, we're going to need some for when we try and blow them up, right? So that goes there. <laughs> one, yeah. two, three, and then the one would have to go on. Well, we could just... again. We could just stop a ship, couldn't we? Yeah, absolutely. So he's got to go in column three because you haven't yet placed the dice in column three. Yeah, just stop them moving. Okay, right. Cool. 
So now we resolve the dice in any order you want. The order is sometimes important. This round it's not. So we're just going to remove those three because they don't do anything. You then generate mm -hmm. two power. So one, two. And then presumably you are going to excavate. Again, it's optional, but I will assume that you're going to excavate. That goes yeah. there. The excavator goes all the way down to here. Okay, that's cool. phase two done. Phase three is the mothership moves down one. And then the ability just to the right of the bottom of the mothership, that now activates. And this icon here means that one of these invisible ships has just appeared. Okay, and that goes on there. And then what we do is we respawn any ships that are waiting in this area, which in this case is this one. Oops. And it goes there. So column two now has two ships in it. Okay, that's the end of the first round. Now we go to round two, and there's a couple of things that I'm going to explain. First of all, these icons down here, which I kind of just did explain. But what's going to happen at the end of this round is this mothership is going to move one space forward, and then this icon is going to trigger. And this moves your excavator back two spaces, which is bad. You could avoid that if you wanted to. If you move one of these ships onto a mothership space this round, it will move down manually, and therefore when you move it down manually, it doesn't trigger the ability. Okay. So you, you can actually bypass some of them. Just be aware, every time you bring this closer towards you, it's adding extra danger. I mean, we just moved it quite far though, didn't we? So Yeah, we don't have to worry too much about it. Uh, we we just moved the excavator like six spaces. True, yeah, yeah, so you might you might think good. that's that's fine. Okay, so let, now let's explain the green rooms, because the green rooms is how you win. <clears throat> Okay. Right. The green rooms is all about doing research, which moves this marker up on this track. OK, you have two research rooms available for you. This research room here in column one costs one power and will generate you an amount of research equal to the value of the dice. If you put six in there, you will generate six points of research. That research must be spent immediately when resolving the room and any excess is lost. And the number of points it costs you to move this marker up is shown. So this next one here is five, the next one is three, then it's one, then it's three, etc., etc., etc. So if you had six points of research, it would move it to there. Okay. The, one do, the one does not carry over, even to another room on the same turn. Now, over here, you have a, a slightly better room because it's plus one. So any dice you put in there is treated as if it was one higher, but it costs two power to use. Okay. That those green rooms is how you move it up and little, just a little sneak preview of seeing what's coming you have this huge research room here right this is a triple research room you can only use it once it has been fully excavated it costs five power to use it only works if there's a dice in each section of the room but you add together all of the values and that's how many research points you get all right so yeah it's that's a, a very very big room right yeah the the last room to explain, I think, is this blue one here. This costs two power to use. And let's say you go in there with a six. OK, that allows you to build a robot of value six. What happens is you take one of the blue dice, you set it to six and you choose an empty room to put the robot in. That robot will work in that room every round that you want it to. And every time you do use it, it will tick down by one. So you don't have to use it. But if you do, it reduces in value. But a robot does not count as a dice in that column. You still have to place either a black or a white dice in every column. The robot does not count. But essentially, it's like an extra worker that is working in there, following all of the normal rules. Okay. So yeah, robots are cool. Right, I think that's it. So let's roll the dice. But before we roll the dice, because it's Washington, we set one of the dice to a six. Ooh. Well, there we go. Big numbers. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, and that shouldn't be there. You haven't taken any damage yet. Um, should we pop a six in the robot room? Yeah, we can do. Where where should we put the robot? We, I suppose it, it would generate a lot of energy if we it put will. a six robot. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. So you don't place the robot right now. You just place the dice on the room, and then when we come yeah. to resolve the dice, that's when you'll you'll place the robot. Yeah, I think that could ultimately end up paying for itself. Mm -hmm. So you put one of the black dice in. 
You happy with that? I am, yeah. but Tom. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. let's see what happens. These two are going to move six. So one, two, three, four, am, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this ship is on an <gasps> explosion space here. Oh, that could be good. It could be good. Yeah, so if you in, can get. In, col in column one, it's three away from one, and we have got a three. Uh, what else is, it, what else is there? It is. There's one, two oh, away. Oh, also, also, in, also in column six, it's three away. One, two, and we three. could use the um, extra power that we've got and put it on the put it on the column four level two to um to just blow them up. You could. I like is in the 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 um the other six. Would that move that one down? One, two, three, four, it five. One past. So mm. it'd move to there and then it'd go over there. We we could which one's the three? We we could use say. Oh, which room? I think it, we we can definitely Ooh. we can definitely use a three to move column one down onto an explosion, and we could put it in the room that would trigger the explosion. But yeah, if we could also get, yeah, I don't think there's a way of getting six, uh, column six on there yet because it's a. Uh, we we well, could no, put it in the six, we could away. put it in the alien room and it would wait. No, you, it's six. Oh, we could put a six in it, yeah. If oh, yeah, we could do six. So if you put the 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 other black six on level three, yeah. And um, then, and then do we want to use the black on the three energy, or the white three? On the green room. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, is that is no? That's not. That's the oh. one we want three on. So level three, column five, I think, is where we want to put the six. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Two, three, four, five, and then the three on the level two, column one, the black three. Black three, level two, column one. One, two, three. Okay, so you've lined up three of them. Yep. Nice. Uh, yeah, so we should, I think... Be able to take out three ships this round yeah and then we we could use it would move the ship along a fair bit but we could use this the white six on the energy room since this is going to knock out all of our energy um what, remember we're going to have a robot you're currently to... spending six energy and you've only got four so yeah you're going to need some more energy oh, spending six. Oh. Well, I was oh thinking... yeah because the, the robot uses energy doesn't it the so, robot yeah, we've uses got to, two we've got to generate some yeah um what, we can't get energy, can we? Yeah, we've got the yeah. we've got we've got the energy oh, yeah, room yeah, in column course. four. We could put and the then, six in there and and get we could excavate more energy with whatever we've got left with the white dice. Is it? Yeah. So that well, it, it would reroll. So maybe it, it might we might get lucky and it'd be more than the three. You might. Yeah, I think it'd be good to get five energy. Okay, so you're yeah. thinking of the six and here. Yeah, and then we'll see what we've got, and hopefully we've got enough. So to this excavate. goes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lands on an arrow, which moves to there. Which means you now have two of them in column Ooh, if, three. If, yeah, if we got a two in that column, they'd both be on an explosion as well. They would. Next round. You happy with that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, roll do we have to roll one? the white dice? You do. Okay, yeah. So hopefully we get something good. Oh, there we five. go. Five. Did you want a five? Yeah. That's okay. That's, we were going to activate with this, so that's bigger is better, isn't it? One, two, three. Four. Well, if you remember, this this has to go in column three. Yeah, they're both going to move down quite a lot, but. Um, oh, the aliens! Yeah. Those pesky aliens. Well, oh well. There's there's nothing we can do with it. I mean, to be honest, it. It, it's better for us to have got the energy that we needed to mm -hmm. resolve that, and then and risk them moving moving down. But that's. So you got um, a, you got a few options here. You could put it in the top to just move them four. Oh, you yeah. could you could put it in the fighter room, which would mean they would move five. But then you've got a fighter room with a minus two, and you've got a fighter room with a zero. So instead of spending the two power here, you could actually just activate this fighter room instead, and it would it would be exactly the same. Or you could excavate here. They are pretty much your three options. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. If they moved five or five, 
Yeah, that's that would end up there. One, two, three, four. And that would end up there. Yeah, they'd just yeah. be on blank space. They'd be on blank spaces and they'd both be closer towards you. Yeah. And remember, your excavator is going to move back two spaces at the end of this round. So basically, we just would keep it where it, <laughs> where yeah. it is. Yeah. That's all right. It's yeah, a tricky choice. Think, yeah. You going with that one? Well, the other option is move them four, one, two, three, four, which will push it in back into the other column. And there's two spaces where we could move it on to, um, to, to kill it. And then that one up the top will be less further forward. I think maybe putting it in the top row. Yeah. We've got mm. enough energy to pay for everything now because of that six. You do? Um, so I think putting it on the top but I, I, I don't want to kind of... It's a tricky decision. I don't, I'm not sure what I'd do in this, in this situation. Because a part of me is like, oh, it's a five. It's such a waste to only excavate two spaces with a five. But I also know that excavating is, is quite important. So, yeah, it's a tricky one. When does the mothership move? Is it after we've resolved? Yes. Yeah, oh, so phase three. Through. Yeah. Yeah, so we would we would just cancel out the two that we're losing. Yeah. I, I think that's like... probably better than just moving because I mean, yeah, move them four if moving them four would get them onto a really good space, but it, it's not. So I I would probably say move them five and, and at least do a bit of something rather than just four. It's but just it's up to you. To, it's totally where we've got them now they're, they're, that one's going to be very close to a space but yeah if you if you prefer that way I'm, I'm happy with it yeah I think let's do some excavating I think okay. we can, get them, we can right. get them back so dice okay. are locked in again the order is important but you probably want to do the energy first so that is oh, yeah. 6 minus 1 is 5 oh yeah that puts you at your max energy okay um, which one do you want to do next Let's blow some ships up. Yeah, so it costs you two <laughs> energy and you blow up every ship that is on a three or less, which is that one and that one and that one. Now, what I didn't mention about these white ships is when they blow up, they get removed from the game. So oh, the red ships respawn, but the white ones, they're removed. Okay, uh, which one do you want to do next? Excavation? Yeah. So yeah, sure. Okay. Excavation I think it's is all the same now. one power to there. Yeah, you want to do the robot last. And then here, if you want to do this, it's two power. You get to research for seven points. But unfortunately, it's a five and then a three. So you only get to move to there. Yeah. That's that done. And now another two energy, build you a robot. Where would you like to place the robot? Um, energy one room? The energy ones, yeah. Uh... Seeing as we've, uh, well, it, it's not going to block us from putting other dice in it. So nope, not whether, to us. So it doesn't yeah, sorry, really it, matter. And it doesn't move the ships, does it? It does not move the ships. Yeah, I mean, either one of those energy rooms doesn't make a difference to me. I'll put it there because it's nearest me. Okay, right. Phase three, the mothership moves down one. The excavator moves back two spaces. And then we respawn the ships. Now, at this point, column one is empty. Column four is empty and column five is empty. And there's only two to respawn. So you actually get a choice. Oh, I mean, looks like um, column one is going to be, it's got more destroying spaces. Um, and column four and five look fairly average. To get, like the same to me. So I, I, I just don't know. <laughs> So here's some things to consider. Yeah. One of the columns is going to be empty of ships. That means you can put a six in that column and be oh, safe. Yes. And because you're playing on Washington, you are going to have a white six. So Ooh. I'm not saying you should do, but here's what I'm thinking. You could say, right, we're going to get a white six. Where would that excavate us? One, two, three, four, five, six. That would excavate us here. Therefore, let's leave column four empty. Yeah. That's is, a good idea. Is, is what I'm thinking. I but, think that's a great idea. Yeah, let's do that. That's the only thing I've thought of, so <laughs> I don't know whether it's no, the that's best great. Thing to do. 
There you go. Know. Okay, so we've, we've spawned the ships in columns one and five, and that is the end of round two. So round three, here's the six, and let's re-roll these. Okay, another six, two, and a couple of big numbers again. <laughs> it's not going to last, is it? <laughs> hmm. So, we know we want to do that six with the excavator. Do we want to do anything with the... With the... With high the black what, numbers. Sorry. With the high black numbers. So we could just go for excavation first and hope that we roll lower. And re roll everything else. I think putting a black six on the excavation is a is a good is a Oh, so we don't want high numbers, you're saying. But we, we need we're gonna get five energy, so You are gonna get five energy from the robot, which is great. Get seven just, energy. Just as a reminder in case the Discord thing is not uh, that clear. This is a three, this is a one, and this is a three. So if you were somehow to generate seven points of research this turn with one room, that would move you straight to there. It would move you three we spaces could, up. We could, um, we could, uh, sorry, use combine them. Is that what you're saying? So within a room, let's just say, for example, you t you put the six on here. Oh, because it's plus one that one. Because it's plus uh, one. Okay. This is a plus one room that would allow you to move seven. What you can't do is you can't add the dice from two different rooms together and then yeah. spend the points. You spend okay. the so points that, well, individually. It's, it seems like that's a good a, a good shout. The black it's six. Cause, it's because that's a plus one research Wait, room. Well, let's put the six. Let's put a six in the excavation because if we put a six in that room, it's going to knock it into the into the empty column, um, the ship. So we oh yeah, do that. Yeah, do the excavation first then. Ah yeah, so excavation there with a black six. Yeah. Okay. And do we want to do anything with the other the fives um, before we before we risk a re-roll? There is a second blue die, just in case you wanted two robots. Um, that one. Mm. How, wait, that that's got one. If you put a six in there, sorry, five. One, two, three, four, five. That will be a six. Can we? Oh, it's so frustrating because if we put the six in the. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Six yeah, in the two energy room, we could blow that ship up. Actually, one, two. If we move, if if we put the two in the um, if we put the two at the top of the the third column, it's going to move into a six space. And then if we put the six into the robot room, and that's going to no, sorry, that's not right, is it? It would re-roll um, everything. Like it would re-roll it. That's the problem. Yeah, but if I was sorry, I meant the five. Okay. The five into the, if we put the five into the um, the robot room, yeah. it would move it onto a six, and then if you put the six onto the, um, the fighter jet room. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, have I messed this up? I I I I seem to, I seem to have a, <laughs> one, two, three, four. Yeah. So we want yeah we would want the five in the robot room because then it would move on to the six space and then if okay. we move the... let me just do that one two three four five because you can undo this yeah oh uh, the, the only thing is is annoying is then you'd have to re-roll and re yeah. exactly because you want the two and the six don't you yeah, yeah. And, if, and if we didn't roll a six with those two dice then we wouldn't be able to yeah, there's Correct. only a them up at all. chance of that happening. Yeah. We could... Uh, we could uh, it's... Now, just another little thing to remember. Your base yeah. only blows up when this damage marker reaches here, okay? If you win the game and this damage marker is on here, a win is a win. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of a resource that you can, you know, yeah. you don't die when one ship gets down to the bottom. You just don't want six ships to get down to the bottom. Hmm. So what, what research are we at next? So we're, do, we're doing the next three, aren't we, with the seven research that we've already got? Uh, you're, you're not currently generating any research this turn. Oh, oh, we're... We, oh, yeah, we, we, haven't yeah. we haven't used the six yet. You haven't used the six. Assuming you do... Next, assuming we do, we've then got... A one and a four. We've then got a one, one and a four, and we've got a, we've got a five here for the, say, the left-hand research room. Uh -huh. Just thinking then energy costs. What, where would five move him down? It, I, would, it, would, it would move column one onto an explosion. If you if we did what? Sorry. If we put the five in the research room of column one. Yeah. 
So we would choose to do that one after we'd done the, you know, we're going to put the six in the, the other research room. So we'd do um, that one first to move us 313. Wait, hang and on. Then... Why, why, why was that, is that add two to it? It adds what right. it adds one to it, so we're we're going to put the six in the in the rightmost research room. Oh, and then you, we can but use that yeah. one to research more. Mm -hmm. This yeah, one will generate have... you seven. This one will so generate we'll have you seven five. energy, and then that will cost six, five, four, three, two, and then yeah. So we should have enough energy. You will have enough energy. Yeah. 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 So and I then, think that's great. Then. Yeah, and then we, it's okay. just depends so on what we roll one. to see. I've moved that one. I haven't moved this one yet. One, two. Did three, we re-roll? Five, six. We're Haven't about yet. to. We're about to. Because oh, okay. you've placed all black ones so far. So now we're going to re-roll because of that. <laughs> and it's a four. Here we go. Four. It's oh, got to go in column that. three. Um, nothing's no. going to blow up, is it? Nothing is going to blow no, up. It's a, that's a minus two. So, so we just have to slow yeah, that one down and push it into it in the, the column two. Put it in the top? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So one, two, three. Moves over. One, two, three. Okay, right. Resolving of dice. In whatever order you want to. Should we, um, should we research? Yeah. Yeah, we could, we can do, well, this either way, it, maybe energy, and then we could, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We can do one research and then energy. Okay, so this research first is yeah. two power to get seven research points, which gets you there. Now you are out of uh, you're out of power. So if you use the robot, now, and what you do is you actually tilt the robot forty five degrees just so you know you've used it this turn. Yeah, mm -hmm. that generates you six. So you've got six power. Uh, the other research is one power for five points of research, which moves you up is to it, there. Is it six power or is it five? It was. Oh, does the robot get the minus one? You're right. Yeah, thank you. It was five. Um, so we've done the other one. Then we have excavation. Yep. So you excavate it all the way to there. Wow. Uh, that dice doesn't do anything. And then if you want to spend two power, you can build a five strength robot. I mean, yeah. you can just put it on another power thing, right? Okay. Yeah, just have a great big power machine. <laughs> just pop it in there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, nice. Right, so end of the round. The mothership moves down one and we get another white fighter ship which is going to go in column five because column five is currently empty mm -hmm. okay right next round so we have a white six for washington's special ability and then still here with the big numbers oh, right so your your power is sorted you're generating eight points of power this turn Tony's popped in the chat. Hi, Tony. Thank you for joining in. And Tony played this a few weeks ago at Gen Con. Hmm. Cool. Um, now, what to... <laughs> Do we want to try and reroll to get some lower numbers? Or... <laughs> so you have um, unlocked some maybe. new buildings. Can you see what these new buildings are? Oh, oh so we've got, we've got... Oh, is, is that another, another robot building? It's oh, another robot, robot building. Then. But you, so these robots, you can remove them at any time. You can only ever have two. Yeah. Um, so it's just a slightly more efficient robot building. Mm. building. Um, but you have another fighter jet room. Oh, that's plus two. It costs two power, but it's plus two. Oh, man. Yeah. I, Do we want to... I don't know and... what we would, we would activate, but if, if we move, if we, if we put the two in column two, it would put both ships on an explosion. It would be a five explosion. But with that plus two fighter room, there's a good chance we'll be able to get a mm -hmm. uh, you know what? five I explosion do like going that later idea. on. Um, Which means the robot isn't really going to get us something. We could put it in the research room and could put it in the research room. May maybe it'll do like we can just ignore it if yeah you don't have don't to, use to activate it. it. Yeah, I I'm okay with that. I think that's probably our best shot. Okay. It does, and then we re-roll the rest, which is yeah. Do we want to put that. No, that's fine. I think that's the best. I think that's the best choice right now, and it could potentially get rid of those which are our biggest threat right now. You don't want to put the four into this fighter room before you do that? Um, oh, yeah, that, that would mean everything would explode. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. And, and it would put that robot on the four, wouldn't it? Uh -huh. it would. Alien, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, if you put the four in there, yes, this let's one do goes that. one, two, three, four. <laughs> let's do that. There you go. 
Now, is oh, there man. any other ones you can get on an explosion space before you do um, anything? Well, not that, not ones that. Um... No, I don't think there is. One, two, three, no. Four, five. No, is there any either three or six or four? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So I think, uh, yeah, let's put that two on the research space. Put the two on there. So that moves these two down too. Mm -hmm. oh, actually, unless we put the, unless we used a five in column three on the minus one at the top. Oh, that would, that oh would yeah. On an that so before you do that, you do that, yeah. which That's is one, good. two, three, four. Yeah. Yes. Well I, think, I think you are going for the achievement. Now, I'm going to suggest to them that they have a set of achievements in the back of the rulebook. They haven't agreed to it yet, but I think there should be a set of achievements. And one of them is to blow up all five of the alien ships on the same turn. We, we're, we're, we're going to do that. You are going to do that, yeah. Well, they, we, can even, you might we might even get the white one. <laughs> you might not, because you still have to place a dice in column one and in column six. But yeah. Yeah. I believe in us. Okay, so we're re-rolling. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, yeah. hang on. No, okay, fine. I'm, I'm, I'm right. Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. Okay, we're re-rolling. Here we go. It's a one and a three. Okay. So yeah. one, two, three. Put three puts three, three on the column one. <laughs> yeah, three in column we one. Puts him right on there. Research. Oh, do we want to use research? Do we want to use five oh, yeah. of that, or should we just put it in the um? If we just put it in the the what we actually we could put oh. the one in the research room and that'll bump us up one. Oh no, we don't. We want oh. we want to three because we want oh, to push it onto that. Oh, or oh, we could we could put the the, oh, yes. the white we could put the white one excavator. on top so it wouldn't move at all. Oh yeah, we haven't excavated. We could put the three on the excavate space and that'll oh. move him down onto the blow map space. Yeah. 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 One, two, three. And then we can and then we could put the one on the um. Well, uh, any space because it's just going to move that last ship onto the fit, onto the blow up space. Yeah, you, you don't have to. You, you you can just put it somewhere and it moves one. Wow. Okay, you happy with that? Yeah. yeah. Right. Let's resolve them rooms. So that one comes off. Oh my god. Should we do the robots first? Um. Yeah. Let's let's yes. get the max energy. That's, get, an, that's, that's another power. achievement. Yeah. <laughs> max power. There you go. Right. So, in what order do you want to do these? Doesn't really. Can we just matter. blow up the ships? You yeah. can blow up the ships. It's okay, so <laughs> two power, six points of blowing up stuff. One, two, three, four, five, and that one goes. There you go. Oh, Nicely God. done. <laughs> I'm honestly so Brilliant. satisfied with that. Oh, that's quite impressive. So, I guess this one's not doing anything. And then I guess you spend one power to excavate to here. Yep. There you go. End of the round. Mothership moves yeah. down. No ability this time. Moment of respite. And then all of these red ships come <sighs> back. All right, next round. So let's set the white dice to a six. And off we go. I got one, two, three, four, oh, five. So we again with these big numbers. The Robots are ready for use. Okay. Low numbers. Um, yeah, yeah, you're looking quite under control at the moment. Your base is not taking any damage. You've got two robots generating lots of power. You've done so a lot of excavation. We've got a lot of sixes. You've got a lot of sixes. We've, we've got a we've got a nice seven chunk on the research track again. So mm -hmm. if we if we put a black six in the plus one research, that's gonna skip us up. Four I was thinking we could spaces. even potentially at this point try and put all of that like the high numbers on that five power um research oh yeah that one station because mm -hmm. that'll take what well, so that'll take us 12 which will take us one four six seven 13 or oh, we could get 13 and we could go all the way up to where that six is and potentially more depending on what what we roll what we get we could just advance up that track as much as we can mm -hmm. yeah what do you think yeah let's let's uh do we, do we want to use the three and the two before they get re-rolled um I, well, yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna add up the um the research and see how much how far you can get. So it's one, four, six, seven, thirteen, fourteen, thirteen, fourteen, or seventeen pretty much is what we want to try and get. So a six a six in the first column is good in the research room because that would put the ship on mm -hmm. an explosion. Mm -hmm. one, two, and then three, four, five, six. Let's see, would sixes be good anywhere else? No. 
Only here, you maybe, mentioned if maybe, you put six on here, that would actually be seven seven points of research. But would it? Would maybe, it oh maybe, yes, yes, maybe still right. maybe still do that because we've got so much energy. Mm -hmm. Maybe still do that because that's going to guarantee us those four spaces, isn't it? Yeah. No matter what we do in the three room. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And the the three room, as long as we get three dice in it, it's definitely going to do that yeah. six and the one, no matter yeah. what numbers we get. So white six on here. Seven. Six. So we if we got if you got um eight or nine no sorry four or nine in that big room we could go really close to the edge. Mm. Yeah. You happy with that? Yeah, I don't think. What, I what, think uh... that's okay. It okay. doesn't. Yeah, I think that's. Yeah, I don't think there's any point saving the three or the two. What I'm just probably, thinking is probably like... regret that when they're all sixes. <laughs> well, all sixes is great. Oh yeah, yeah it means we could advance up that. Yeah, we, we can take a look. We can take tons yeah. of alien hits. Yeah, if I told you, <laughs> you'd do it. Don't, uh... Right, don't we're re-rolling. <laughs> there you go. We got a one, a two, and a four. Okay. Four in the so, research room. I think higher numbers. One, let me just two, think. Three. If it there's any way, anywhere, there. we could slow. Um, we're not likely to blow up anything this turn, are we? Probably not. So we could, we could, theoretically, we could just slow the movement of those ships. In fact, if we put the one, uh, if we put the two in the top of. Oh no, but we then we won't won't be able to put them in the research room. I see. Yeah, I was thinking if we put the four in, then maybe we'll maybe we'll get a, a nice yeah. number with one of those two dice. Well, that's than... going to be so we got seven, which has taken us up to there, and then we've got a six, which is there. So um, a four would take us up to the another two spaces. Yeah, so let's just put the four in it. Yeah, column so two or column if three. We get, if we get a five, even better, five or a six. Do, think, do we oh. want to put the four in the second column because then? Um, yeah, it's on an explosion and there's one after it. Yeah. Yeah, let's put it in there. One, two, three. Oh, oh, we, yeah, you one, mean the third one. column? Oh, yeah, I meant the third column. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Because uh, it's on one. If we if we can make it stay still or we'll only move one. Yeah, oh yeah, fine. Okay, yeah. re-rolling. There's a three and a two. Ah. Well... So there's well, no, there's, oh, so, but we've got to put stuff in the research room, haven't we? Or it's not going to activate. Correct. Yeah, it has to be fully so, occupied in order for it to work. Uh, no. Yeah, so what that's we, fine. We can just. So we need the, something in column the three, two put and the four. Three in the research room because then it skips the mothership space. Yeah. And uh, if if we put in column four, if we use the two in the fighter jet space, the plus two fighter jet space. Oh no, that would that would it would blow up one of them. So I don't know if that's worth doing. But they, think, the other well, the other, ship, the other ships costs, on the other ships on the five. We're going to get six energy. Um, but I you're mean, spending seven spend energy this turn. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll at one, and then we'll gain six, which will take us to seven, and then it'll be six, five, four, three energy left. Yeah, we've got enough energy. If you want to do that. Yeah. I think okay. it's, we, I think we it might as well blow it up. Always a good option. Yeah. So this moves we down might as well do it. Okay, right. So resolving the dice. Now you don't want to do both the robots first because that would. No, yeah, yeah. We'll do the big. We'll do the big energy yeah, big room. research. No, no, no. Sorry, we'll do the the right energy room. Oh yeah, one. yeah. The plus one first. That's so screw power the... for seven points of research. One, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then. Now we're probably yeah. going to have to. Um, you can do one of the robots. robots. One of the robots generating you three power. One, two, three, mm -hmm. giving you seven power. And then the big research room. Big research room costs you five power and generates you 13 points of research. So that's Let's six, that. seven, ten. Okay. Uh, and then the other robot room is another three points of power. One, two, three. And then do you want to spend two of that power to blow up this ship? I say yes. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go right done mothership moves down one we get a white ship and they're going to respawn okay so the first one respawns in column two because column two is empty uh tom is actually in the chat the designer's in the chat he can tell me whether the white ships are supposed to spawn before or after the red ones i understood it was afterwards tom will tell me otherwise now you get to choose where the second ship no you don't get to choose no you do get to choose so Every column is now occupied. 
this second ship is going to respawn. It's going to either respawn in column one, three, uh, one, three, four, or five. But what it does is it now looks at the columns where the other ships are the furthest away from the mothership. So that is actually column one and five, and you get to choose whether it's column one or five. Hmm. Where would you like it to appear? Hmm. If it, if it goes in column one, they're both three away from an explosion. All I'm thinking about is exploding more ships. Uh, Wait, that's they? actually no, two, away. two away. Oh no, it's, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm the looking reds. at the... Okay. So it, it you, is red you just, first. You've just, you've just moved the mothership on the YouTube screen. I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, uh, Tom, yeah. Tom has confirmed it is the red ships get placed first, then it's the white ships. Okay. So... Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any. I don't think there's any fancy tricks we can do. Okay. From having it in one or the other. Right. Off we go. Next round. We have a white six, and we're going to re-roll. Here we go. So we have a one, a two, a three, a five, and a six. Okay. So, um, how much energy do we have? We've currently got three. three. You're and about to generate four. Seven. So we could use that. Um, we could use that five in the plus one research to get us two spaces further along the track. Yeah. Um, and that would move it one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it, then it'd be into this column here. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then we could potentially put the. Uh, so we could put like. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna let's face it. We're in a position where we can probably take some attacks. Mm -hmm. Um. So we could potentially just not try to blow that up. Um. Wait, is that right number of spaces? I thought it was gonna move into the next column. Um. Uh. Oh, that's a good point. Who's watching the YouTube feed? Yeah, it, it would go on the arrow. I've got I've got both of them. Okay, yeah. I only moved it four. Thank you. Um, yeah, so that one we can, uh, bearing in mind, we still haven't placed a dice in that column. So actually we, we it's going to move further. So maybe yeah. we don't put the five there just now and maybe see if there's a way to. Yeah, we can save that until we reroll them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So Sorry. we've got the one and the two. It'd be good for them to be anywhere. Um. Well, if you're worried about it, it up, you could put the one and that would end up on here. But yeah, as you say, you've got all of this damage that you can take. So I wouldn't worry is, about taking But is there an damage. achievement for ending the game undamaged? Yes, there should be, because I've never seen it done. <laughs> so. Well, now you've said that. No, there you go. <laughs> um, Let's see. Well, if we use the two in column two um i don't i don't really want to use that big research thing because it's draining our energy yeah and we haven't we haven't really got a we want we want to get just before the 11 probably or, or maybe we could do the 11 and the three with it but mm. yeah we want to leave it until then i think we could we could move the um we could have moved the uh actually we could put this we could put the three. No. Two, three, four, five. We won't be able to take out that that ship if it moves into that column. But if we put the three on column of of the plus two um, fighter, then it would move that column four fighter over into the right column. And then when we use the five on that space, it would move that down uh, that ship down onto a four and. That, that that bottom fighter into the empty column and then it would stay there mm -hmm. does that make sense but yeah. by placing this three it means you you're gonna have to re-roll all of these uh, oh yeah. yeah which is probably not so, great. oh wait was i thinking of three yeah sorry yeah if hmm. so if Unless... if we are if we are thinking of like having a blow-up turn again then maybe we could we could put the one in the top of column one so that it doesn't move and stays on the explosion. We could put the two somewhere in column two so that moves on to one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We could put the two as the excavate. Yeah. 
So we could, yeah, so we could put the two and the fighter room on the bottom to excavate it, and that would move it onto a three, the, the ship onto a three. You could put the one, as you said, at the top of column one, so that would stop that fighter moving. Um, and then you could put the, do we then want to use the, the, the five on that, uh, that, that research thing? That seems like a good move. I know you yeah, really I want to not we can take any damage, it. but I just don't know if it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, there is still an option. If we get a low dice the next time, we could just slow the movement down. Yeah. Um, or even put it on that four and destroy it next turn. Yeah, and actually, good. if we put the five there and then we put that uh, other dice somewhere somewhere else, we could roll a low number and we could land it on the the explosion thing. You could. You happy with those three then? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Right. Which yeah, of these I do you mean... want to place then? You've still got columns three and four to place in. Three and four. Well, if we put the six on the ah, oh, that's gonna that's gonna kill us though, isn't it? Yeah. Or do we want to put the? Or do we want to take a risk and put the six on the? Six on some on the like the other one. The uh... oh, it's not gonna blow up all the ships though. It's actually only gonna blow up. Yeah, we'd only blow um, up this one because that's on a three. If I suppose it's a it's a risk because we might not roll high enough for the research room. But if we put if if without placing the five, we put the six in column four, that would get yeah, rid of that one. And then and then if if we did get the five later and it swung into that column, it wouldn't be moving again this round because we mm. would have already placed something in it. It's just a risk that. I guess we'd be okay if we rolled a, f a four still would be nice in that room. Yeah. All right. And then we'll have two dice. Yeah. So let's take and if that. We if we rolled a four, that would actually be perfect because it wouldn't move into the column and it would be on an explosion as well. Yeah. Okay. okay so, so I've undone gonna... the five. Come on, four. I'll do the five. And we're going to put... Um, yeah. Put gonna the, do put the six in co column four. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. In column four. Yeah. On level. On... Uh, should, we, should we put it on the... Is is there a six explosion? That's no, I think we're fine to put it on the the, on the minus. One. Yeah, the minus one. Okay, so this moves down because, six because column three's on a six, but it's got to move. I suppose yes. unless we roll a one, so yeah. there's a good chance that's going to be on a four. Okay, so we're re-rolling. Don't let us down, Paul. <laughs> Did you want oh, one no. or two? <laughs> uh, one's actually okay for. Oh, and it's it's a white, so we've got another chance. We could put mm -hmm. the one in column three on the fighter room just not to not activate it but just yeah. just move it on a okay and then another, another explosion roll. and then we've got to hope for big money it's a three uh, no that's rubbish okay uh so well we could we? um Wait, which column do we need that in three five five do we, do we want to like i don't know just creating another robot doesn't seem very no i mean it's going to go down to two next isn't it yeah yeah we we want it to move the full we want it to move the full three rather than be on the mothership space uh yeah we, we probably just want to put it in a room and not activate it i guess yeah i mean you can even just put it in the corridor yeah just... <laughs> one, yeah because it's not in, it's, it's we're one short for research and yeah. We don't need it for exploding, and we don't yeah. want a robot. Oh, okay, well. right. Let's resolve those dice then. Should we do the robots first? Yeah. So that's four Cause, points. Cause next next time, after the excavation, we've got the creator robot for free room, and we've got a plus one energy room yeah. that we could put a robot into. Yeah. Mm. Okay, right. Robots have been used. So that doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Excavation. Yeah. To there and then exploding exploding so you spend one power and you explode everything on a five or less which is that one that one that one that's still pretty good isn't it yeah that one yeah that is pretty i'm happy good. with that that is pretty good uh okay right 
dice come off, mothership moves down, excavator moves back one, and then respawn, which is there, 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 and there. Okay, now just be aware of the next icon on the mothership track. This is you will lose one research step. Oh. What is it on now? Uh, what number? It's currently on a three. Oh, that's not too bad. Nope. But that will happen at the end of the round. So, so it happens after, if we do move that five step. We want to try and get it as we far. We would lose it. So, so, it yeah. the so we either yeah. need to move it the five and the one. Or can I suggest... We can I know, move the mothership ourselves. I know it's controversial. Um, but we could put that four at the end on the... Actually, wait. I was just going to say excavate so we get that free... The free, uh, free double research room if you need it. I mean, uh, yeah. I don't know whether you do. Because you only need 20 points of research to win. Okay. In that case, um, do we want to just put a six on that... Um... Oh, no, actually, you could put a four. No. Yeah, we could put a four on that plus one room. Or we could put a six on the research room on the left. Oh, but that'll move the mothership. That might not be a bad thing. We wouldn't lose the research then. When does the does does the mothership? Oh yeah, the so, mothership would move after the the alien. Yeah. Wait. So we'd skip that losing the research skip step. Yeah. If you if move we, the mothership we, down yeah. manually, you skip this penalty. Yeah. yeah. And that would take us to, and then we'd only need fourteen points. Yeah. And may, maybe we could just do Which it. Which we could potentially do. <laughs> So, so, put, so what would so that's a six we need, is it? Four, five, yeah. If we put a six so, on that room, then we're all, and then we're up two steps on the research we've track. Got the, we've got the fours, which we could place, and then four, eight. You know what? <laughs> we could put the two fours and then the six, and I think we would be all right. Oh, no, we wouldn't be able to... Yeah, we could, actually. I think we could win it. So if you put the six on column one, level three... To, to skip that research, to, to move the mothership. Uh, level three, yeah. So then we've got one, two, three four, energy five, left. Six, which means that moves no, four down. four energy left. So then we could then put... Um, we could potentially gain energy and then just put the uh, the six and the four in. Well, we could put a four in something. Um, just to get, we need to put then a six and a five at least in that space. Hmm. I think I think we can afford to take. Mm, yeah, it's just do we gamble on the big research room? We, 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 we're guaranteed it in the little research room. I mean, we're guaranteed it either way as long as we fill it with dice. Oh, so you're thinking about just putting uh, it in the, the next step down? I, th I think it's better in the in the smaller one. If, yeah, because if we're just guaranteed, up, we, we, we we've, got, we've got plenty of like rounds to spare, haven't we? <laughs> and in, in, my role as, in my role as military commander, if we put the two <laughs> in the minus one in column five. Oh no, we've moved the mothership, haven't we? Ah. Wait, what's what's about the mothership? Yeah. If, uh... Oh, because you wanted to put some stuff on the. Yeah, well, I think I think I think the first one in column six was one away from an explosion, but it's better it's better to move the mothership. Yeah. So what we're gonna push it down one column? You're saying right into the if three. You push room. it down what? Uh... The the dice. We're gonna move it to the next level down, not where it is. I think I think it's better in that smaller room. You don't want to fill up that big room. That's fine. I mean, we could just then. I mean, yeah, I think I think I, I don't think we're going to get the the full mm -hmm. one this round. Okay. But I think we could we could probably do it next round. Well, it well, depends how it. Uh... Wait, six, six, ten, sixteen. Um, you know what? We could. You could put the four in the. You could put the four in the plus one room. On the right. And that would take us the five that we could get. And then we'd need 14, uh, sorry, 15. Which are with that. 
which we, we could potentially put the, the other six, the other four, and the other... No, that would be then one less. Okay, never mind. That? Is that what you're thinking? That wouldn't be enough, I don't think. Wouldn't um, it? No, because that we need 15. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, yeah. But then we'd need to obviously bank on getting enough energy... Um, well, we would have enough energy, wouldn't we? Because we you would have just two... enough energy, yeah, to do that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I just messed up the maths. <laughs> we would then be able to complete the mission, then. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, so we need to roll that white dice. I guess. Well, I need to. I need to move some stuff, don't I? Oh yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. So that six has already been moved. The black yeah, one, but the but... other one. So before you put that six, you probably want to put this four first. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And Washington takes a point of damage. Achievement failed. <laughs> <laughs> and then it. It was, then it was the six in there. Or was it the other four? It was the other four, wasn't it? Well, it probably doesn't matter, the order of these. One, two, three, four. Then the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Moving the mothership down. And then the six goes here. Which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Reroll the two. Oops. It's a four. And then that just goes in column four wherever you want it to go. Um, Don't think it matters. Yeah, it doesn't does it? matter. Doesn't really matter. One, two, Can three, four. Can we lock four. the robot up and put him in there? Just out of curiosity. You could. Just to yeah. gain a small energy. Yeah, there you go. Easily. Okay, so I think that's it. I think that's a win. Yes. That's a win. Because that generates your three power. One, two, three. And then you use five points of research here. So two power to generate five points of research, which is there. And then five power to generate 16 points of research, which is enough for a win. There you go. You made it look easy. <laughs> <laughs> so that what was that difficulty level that was the first difficulty level okay yeah that's now i did give you a few little tactical tips at the start yeah. as well to help you out and i'll show you quickly how you up the difficulty okay so these are four boards okay and what you can do is if you decide to increase the difficulty level by one to difficulty level two you choose one of these boards or decide randomly uh, and you basically you flip that board over okay and that is a harder side. And the more of these boards you flip over, the harder the game gets. The so difficulty level five means that you've flipped over all four of these boards, and that is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> okay. Now, I've spoken to the designer about this, um, and I think he's saying that even he struggles on this difficulty level. So difficulty level one, you should be able to defeat that all the time. It's kind of like a, it's not a tutorial, but it kind of is a tutorial. In other words, you should always be able to defeat it once you kind of know the game. Difficulty level two, a little bit harder. Difficulty level three is where I'm currently at with my plays. But the more you play it, the more experience you get. Obviously you've got the look factor of the dice, but there's a few little tricks that you can do with manipulating things and moving them around at certain points. So there's lots of little tricks that you can do in the game. Um, so yeah, it's nice that you can customize uh, the difficulty of it. But yeah, you did excavation early, that was good. And as I say, the bases are all different as well. So if you do tune into any of the other videos this weekend, we will be using different cities, we'll be using different bases, uh, and there's different strategies that you will use depending on the base that you've got. So you were playing on Washington that started off with lots of fighters, but no research. Uh, and it's got this triple research room, which is actually quite early. It's just really expensive. So building mm -hmm. the six-point robot and then the five-point robot, putting them in the energy room, absolutely the right thing to do. Because Washington is very power-hungry uh, with that room there. Well, there you go. You enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah, that was great. So, now, Russ, you, you've tuned in to the end of one of the previous videos. So you had an idea of what this was about. Tom, yeah. did you have much of an idea of what this game was about? I had no idea. Oh, right. Okay. There we go, then. But I'm very impressed. There you I go. I want to play it again. Yeah. Yeah.
well, as I say, it'll be out later this year and there's going to be a huge amount of content in the game. There's going to be, as I say, over 20 bases. There's going to be a campaign mode with the story and things like that. So, yeah, lots of variability. Uh, and once you know how to play the game, you can play a game of it solo in about 20 to 25 minutes. So it is a, it is a quick game. Obviously, we were an hour and a quarter today. Um, that's because, obviously, delivering the teacher at the start and two people working it out does take longer. But, yeah, I know people who play this in about 20, 25 minutes or so. There you go. Nice, clean win, said the designer. Yes, it was. Yeah, he did well. Right. So, yes, thank you very much to you two for joining me. And I will be seeing you in about 45 minutes again because we're back for yes. some more. Indeed. Yeah. And, uh, officially, then, the UK Virtual Expo will have begun. Virtual Expo open. So the hall, the doors open for Virtual UK Games Expo in 45 minutes time. And we will be there at the start with the next live stream coming in 45 minutes time, which is the Lost Ruins of Arnak, which is CGE's other game that they've got coming out this year. Uh, it's going to be Tom and Russ again, and we're being joined by Matt Evans from Creaking Shell. So that's going to be in 45 minutes on the channel right here. Thank you very much to you two for joining me. And I will see you in about 45 minutes. <laughs> Try. Right. Yes. Thank you very much for joining in and we'll see you later on. Thanks very much. Take care, everyone. Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.